Today is finally the day. We're at the Valencia MotoGP circuit and we're going to ride this. We have an hour and 10 minutes on the new Ducati Panigale V4 and there is so much to talk about. Let's get going. The Ducati Panigale V4 is brand new for 2018. The Desmo Sedici Stradale, its MotoGP derived 1100cc V4 engine came first and therefore it got a lot of attention. But then again, a 214 PS sport bike engine deserves the attention, right? That's the new V4 engine that Ducati have put in. It's still a 90 degree engine. It's canted back and canting it back allows the swing arm pivot to move forward. And Ducati, of course, continue to use the engine as a stressed member of the frame. So the front frame, the subframe and the suspension swing arm, everything mounts to the engine. But of course, Ducati has worked hard on the engine. It shares the board with the MotoGP bike, which allows a lot of ideas and technology to transfer easily. But it's also a small engine, smaller in every dimension than the older 90 degree twin, except for a 5 cm wider span between the engine cases. At just 2.2 kilos heavier than the twin, the V4 is a massive achievement. The engine is used to make most of the frame as well. The monocoque is retired in favour of the aluminium front frame. You need to think of that as half a twin spar frame which bolts to the front of the crankcase and the front of the rear cylinder bank. The rear cylinder bank also provides the place to mount the subframe on which you sit and the extra long swing arm mounts to the back of the crankcases. That's a very spare chassis if you think about it. In terms of ergonomics, they haven't really done much. They took the old bike, kept the handlebar more or less at the same place, raised the foot pegs 10mm higher to give it a little bit more lean angle capability. But the feel is dramatically different from the old bike. It feels smaller, it feels compact, and somehow Ducati shoved in a V4 engine into this while keeping the feel of the V-twin intact. I'm surprised and slightly blown away. And on the move, the engineering begins to translate with breathtaking fidelity into the real world. The engine makes over 100 Newton meters from 7000 RPM onwards, and that means I could ride slower than full pace without fuss as I figured out the complex and extremely physical Valencia circuit. And yet, down the straight, the V4S will stomp past 280 km an hour with authority, feeling strident but not stressed even the least bit. The new lean angle sensitive quick shifter works well and the engine is just so easy to use and yet it produces such an immense amount of thrust so easily. But on its own, the engine would be lost. But the chassis is just as stunning. The Olin semi-active suspension is enormously capable and has been tuned really rather well. At no point was I allowed to think that the motorcycle had anything less than perfect suspension for every situation. That was true from the slow and fumbly opening laps to the handful of fast laps that I was satisfied with at the end of the day. The suspension adapts live within the parameters of the selected riding mode but you can also change the way it works with you mid-corner, on the brakes and under acceleration. And that's just one of the Panigale V4's galaxy of electronic systems. The IMU allows the Panigale V4 to understand very accurately what's really going on. And that unlocks a whole bunch of systems that Ducati uses very interestingly. You constantly hear references to the idea that a new sports bike guy could use these systems, rely on them to do things that he would ordinarily not have the skill to do. Like for example, he'd be able to slide the motorcycle with a safety net. But when you take it to one level higher, so for example from traction level uh, 3 to 2, then you suddenly unlock a whole bunch of systems that are designed for an advanced rider to use even more of the performance of the motorcycle. It's really quite mind-boggling because all of the systems talk not about safety as a primary, but performance as a primary goal. You cannot close this story without a hat tip to the outstanding Brembo Stilema calipers, which are almost telepathic in their ability to slow the rampant V4 and to the outrageously grippy Super Corsa tyres that were specially developed by Pirelli for the Panigale V4. 
I couldn't trip them up whether I rode well or like a buffoon and I believe that covers nearly the whole spectrum of riding ability. Yes? So that's the new Panigale V4. Ducati have really taken it to another level and it's not just about the fact that it's a V4 or the fact that it has a lot more power than before. Panigale V4 prices in India start at Rs 20.53 lakh ex showroom and Ducati India has priced the V4S, this one, at Rs 25.29 lakh ex showroom. 20 motorcycles are in the initial lot and deliveries will begin in July. I suspect that the V4S will be hard to ride in India outside the racetrack. But on a racetrack? My God, you'll have so much fun! It's the idea of the motorcycle coming together as a compact, light, friendly motorcycle that I think sports bike riders of lots of skill levels will get to ride. And the guys who get this, I think they'll be super happy.